Hey, Sharon. Humidity there, get into her throat, that's what mm -hmm. that was. It's uh, 22 minutes past seven. It's expected the Home Secretary, Theresa May, will announce the start of a clampdown on people smugglers and more security for the Channel Tunnel. This is when she visits the migrant camps in Calais later today. But there's concern from some groups that too much attention is being focused on border security and more should be done to tackle humanitarian situation head on. Now, Lee Dins is from the charity Doctors of the World, and he's been working on the ground in the Calais migrant camps. You were there last week, that's right, isn't it? Tell us a bit about what it's like there. I was. It's an extraordinary scene. I've worked in uh, humanitarian settings around the world, from Afghanistan to the foreign Sudan, where most of the migrants trapped in Calais come from. It's dirty, it's overcrowded, it's insanitary. And this, of course, is causing all sorts of health problems, which our volunteer doctors and nurses on the ground are trying to treat as well as the physical injuries because of the violence that's meted out to migrants either by the local police or by people smugglers but also the psychological trauma not just of having survived a difficult arduous journey but then to arrive to find yourself living in the most appalling conditions so i find it especially difficult to understand that this refugee crisis in calais is one that would appear as you would expect to see in any other part of the world and yes and yet it's not being addressed so, Lee, today we have uh, Theresa May, who's going to visit uh, the scene herself. Uh, she's, she's also ma making a series of announcements to do with uh, increased security. A number of British uh, police will be involved in a joint operation on the scene alongside a new drive to stop the people smugglers, to target the people smugglers. What do you make of what's been announced? Well, I do think it's a sledgehammer to crack a nut. So now it, it is true that smuggling is rife in uh, northern France. It's a vile, vicious, pernicious trade which is carried out by people who are preying upon vulnerable migrants who are at their lowest ebb. And it's clear it has to stop. It's not acceptable. So belated welcome action by the Home Secretary. But I do hope the Home Secretary will take the opportunity to be very, very clear publicly today that it is the providers not the purchasers of smugglers' services who are the criminals that need to be tracked down. I also worry that it's a bit of a failure on the part of government to understand cause and effect in Calais. So the higher the fences, the fewer the opportunities for people to reach the United Kingdom safely and legally to make a claim for asylum. Claiming asylum uh, is no crime. But it is also, to an extent, a massive distraction from the real story of Calais, which is that it's a humanitarian crisis of the first order on our very doorstep which we can and should solve together if it were a refugee crisis in any other part of the world we would be clamoring for action and i don't understand why in the context of cali when there is so much trauma so much suffering we're not doing more it's not sustainable for organizations like mine like doctors of the world to run charitable activities but we are the only medical organization on the ground so what help do you think needs to happen for them well, we, the UK, are spending many millions of British taxpayers' money uh, on building high offences, of sending sniffer dogs. I'm asking the Home Secretary today to spend a modest amount of that money on immediately necessary humanitarian care. The UK leads the way in seeking to resettle Syrian refugees and yet has failed to take many Syrian refugees onto that resettlement scheme. Let's open that up to Syrians in Calais. There are many Syrians there. And there are already existing mechanisms to reunite families who are separated. So I've met 10-year-old Syrian little boys literally living in the bottom of a ditch along the side of a farmer's field, riddled with scabies. If they have family members in the UK, let's reunite them, let's bring them here. We're not talking about a lot of people, particularly on a day when we know that Germany will take 800,000 migrants. 800,000. There are 3,000 people living in Calais. Uh, Lee Danes, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, Lee Danes is Chief Executive of the charity Doctors of the World. Yeah, thanks for coming in. It's uh, 26 minutes past seven. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Still to come this morning, how do you inspire the next generation of skilled workers? Well, I've been to a global event where 1,200 young people have been competing to be crowned the best in the world for their trade. From bricklayers to beauty therapists. More of that a little later on. Time now to get the news, travel and weather where you are.